it's 2019. Welcome back to the Midwest Brew Review. Bringing in the new year with a heavy hitter from 2018, actually. We're doing Double Blazed Orange from Hot Butcher for the World. So this was one of our favorite uh, favorite breweries of the year, for sure. They put out a, a bunch of amazing beers pretty much on a weekly basis, and it's been amazing. Um, we've been picking up, at least I've been picking up, four packs from our local shop in Glen Ellen, the beer cellar, which I work right next to, so that's been really easy for me. Um, we've been impressed with everything they put out this year. Um, Absolutely. And then, and then they decided to put out Double Blazed as like the finale. And it did not disappoint. No, it didn't. So. I actually had um, the opportunity to have regular blazed orange over the summer, and I thought it was incredible. Uh, do we just come out and say it? This is, might be the best beer of the year that I've had. I, I think certainly. you might. I think you might be right. Certainly. So, with spoiler alert: this is the best beer that I've had this year. How about we take a look at the can here? There we go. Double blazed. We'll get a little little close action up there. So, of course, black and orange. It almost looks like it should be coming out in October, but hey, it's not. It's coming out in December, and it's their last of the year. They released two other beers with us. I didn't get a chance to, to try those at all yet, but uh, we're pretty excited to be trying this one. So, you had the Blaze. You said it was amazing. Apparently, there's double everything in here, so it should be double the, uh, double the hops, double the vanilla, double the oranges. Probably just double the alcohol, but... <laughs> Probably. It's 9.5% by volume, so it, it, it's pretty heavy. It's a heavy beer. Hot Butcher out of Darien, Illinois, brews out of Miskatonic Brewing. So that's kind of an interesting setup they have there. Symbiotic. The symbiotic, that's good. There's, they have a symbiotic relationship, Miskatonic and Hot Butcher. Occasionally you'll get a Hot Butcher tapping at Miskatonic. We've been to a couple of those. Miskatonic, in its own right, yes. a very good brewery. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We'll, we're hopefully going to be visiting Miskatonic fairly soon in the coming year here, so keep uh, keep an eye out for that. Let's talk about Double Blaze Orange. Um, this is a milkshake IPA, um, Citra Strata Hopped. We're actually looking at, essentially, a creamsicle or dreamsicle, orange dreamsicle type beer. This thing is, I, I think it's pretty incredible. So we've already, <laughs> spoiler alert, we've already had it. This is, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna try it again though on camera because it was that good. So this beer was actually it's actually pretty hard to get. Quick story: I was in a I don't know if they're out of Chicago and Binnie's. I think, are I think they? so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Binnie's is a is a pretty pretty big liquor store, and I was just walking through. I wasn't even looking for this, but um, just shopping and. I have to say, at least three times I've heard, I just overheard customers like asking uh, people who work there, do you have any blazed orange? They're like, no. Too late. No. <laughs> They're like, dude, that sold out. We got it in, and it sold out in 15 minutes. It was it was quick. There was a line out the door for, uh, for when we got it as well, so... Um, it's yeah, the, so, the, the demand has been insane. The online support for this beer has been off the charts as well. Oh my Instagram, God. Facebook, oh anything, God. anything you name it, it, it's been it's been crazy. But I guess without further ado, uh, let's get into this thing. <laughs> let's do it. Guys, uh, you know, I, I think I said controversy over over this style of beer. Right. Um, the only reason I said is because I feel like there's a lot of beer purists out there that don't think that this should ever be made. <laughs> um, they don't like, yeah. it is a delicious, almost I would say dessert treat. I would say so. I mean, like um, you said, it's kind of an orange dreamsicle flavor you're going for with a with a with a beer like this. But here's the deal: it's it's still made. It's a beer. It's you know, beer for sure. Made like a beer. They're yeah. using hops and and water. Yeah, and absolutely. And grains and I mean, the hops were that are in this right now: Citra and Strata hops, milkshake, w, double India pale ale, brewed with oranges and vanilla. That's, right. That's the description. And, and a lot of the same people that were you know saying that about about you know. That this should be a beer. They're probably saying the same thing about any IPA. It's like, oh, that's right. not that's not a traditional style beer. We shouldn't be doing that. But of course, they, the popularity you know sprung out, and then you know we're we're getting BGCPA is it's a it's an official category for any IPA. So I could imagine at some point. Milkshake might be its own category. Probably, I would say so. You know? I mean, people are putting them out a lot right now, so. 
So the popularity uh, is there. What are you going to do? Not make a beer that sells off the shelves? I don't right. know. So I mean, this thing went super quick. No, oh my God, insane. Okay, so you guys got to look at the color. I mean, it, it obviously is a beautiful hazy um, orange. It almost looks like orange juice. Straight dreamsicle. Yeah, I mean, right off the bat, <laughs> you're you're absolutely getting like a vanilla cream orange. Yeah. Um, just yes. dessert. Do you remember the lifesaver candies? That they used to make, they were the cream candies, or Lifesaver creams. I never got any of those, but I feel like I know where you're going with that. Got it, just exactly the same smell that I used to get from them. All right, without further ado, let's give this thing a try. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God, what? I don't know how they do it. Best I honestly, beer of the year. I honestly don't best know how they do it. Best beer of the year. I think you're right. I think it's the best beer of the year. This is a dessert in a glass. Absolutely, it's smooth. Creamy, vanilla, orange, all coming through. That dreamsicle, of course, coming through. Exactly. We're not getting a, a hot bite or no. anything like that on there. Uh, it's a very smooth, smooth drinker. Man, just everything about it, it just it smells so good. Uh, the taste just follows that perfectly. Mm -hmm. I, I could drink a ton of this. <laughs> Billy, Billy is probably jealous. He's not having this right now. He's not with us right now. Yeah, unfortunately. He, that's Sorry. that's actually his line. He, you know, he's yeah, like, oh, you could drink a ton of this. Um, if I could have this, like just a, a, a endless supply of this, oh, yeah. I'd be happy. It'd be great. I shouldn't say that, <laughs> like, uh, you know, because there's all kinds of beer styles that I love. But you know what this makes me want to do is go visit Miskatonic, which we love also. Miskatonic, we're going to be visiting you mm -hmm. for your beer, but we'd also like to visit for Hot Butcher's beer because that's where you're brewing out of. And it's weird to us, and we really want to go try and see what, how you guys coexist and how you really do it and, and how you both make really good beer. Did so, you, are you calling them out right now? I'm kind of calling you out. Please explain to us how all of this works. Yeah, I, and get as, us in there. As a, as a home brewer, as home brewers. Sure. Uh, I kind of want to know how this is done. I mean, honestly, like I, I would love to at least attempt to replicate this at home. Right. You guys, this, this beer is 100% worth it. Hot Butcher for the World, they are continuing to push the envelope. Um, they, are, they are raising the bar. How many other things can we say about that? 2018. That's it. I mean, 2018 hop, ended well. 2018 is all about Hot Butcher, apparently. Apparently. And hopefully 2019, we'll see what comes out from everyone else, and, and including Hot Butcher. I'm sure wow. they got it. And, and yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And remember, it's just beer, but it's pretty damn good. Just got to shake it out a little bit. You got to shake it out. Shake it out. Copiashi. Shake it out. Shake it out. And it's like, wow, man, I can just smell this all day. <laughs> I was in a tree. I'm cute. Alright.